Hola mi gente, God bless you. This is Pastor Jeannie Santos. Just stopping by to say hello and also to encourage you. Um, it's important that you know and you remember that um, none of us are perfect. That we fall short of the glory of God, right? And there are going to be times that you look back and, and wish that um, things were a little different in your life. Um, I want to read a couple of scriptures, and that is to encourage you. I don't want you to mope around on what should have, could have been. You know what I mean? Um, I'm about to enter my 46th year of my life. <laughs> I've got permits on June 16th, right? And um, I'm reflecting and, and looking back at things I wish I would have never done. <laughs> things I wish I could have done. Um, and, um, I realized that there is no time machine, and I can't say, be me, I'm Scotty, like in the old Star Trek, um, films, and, um, but that God's grace has been sufficient for me, you know, and it's amazing, um, that that scripture, you know, was written, and, um, because the author of that book understood what it was like to struggle with his weaknesses. But he understood God's strength as well. Second Corinthians twelve nine. For he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. This is what the Lord said to Paul. And this is what the Lord is saying to you and I today. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. You know, at times if our weaknesses were not allowed to be displayed, we forget about whose power it is that we're really walking under. Amen? It's being real, you know? Because as human beings, there's always a danger of taking your eyes off the mark. Don't be holier than thou. It happens. But when your weaknesses creep up and you need his strength, you know that you are nothing without him. Nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the apostle recognized that he had weaknesses. And he cried out to God. Nobody knows exactly what the thorn in his flesh was. But we do know that God said his grace is sufficient for him. And it's been his grace that's been sufficient for me. Yeah, like everybody else, at times I wish I could escape to my own little island. Come on, don't tell me you never thought of that. Yeah. That's not an unholy thought. Just being realistic, being human. And when you're realistic and you're human, human enough, to admit that there's areas in your life that you need his strength with and for, then you will be a victorious Christian. Because then the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, can do an amazing work in your life. Amen? Um, then there's this other wonderful scripture. And we know that in all things, doesn't say some things or one thing or a few things. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Amen? And um, that's found in Romans 8.28. Now, check out the scripture. Don't misquote it and throw it up in the air. Because we know that if we love God, we keep his commandments. Amen. So it says, those that love him. Amen. Those that walk in that obedience. Those that seek after God. Those that want God in their life. More than just a creator. But the author and finisher of their faith. Their best friend. Their master. Their teacher. Their guide. Their Abba. Okay, to those, then all things will work for the good. Even your past mistakes, even the shouldas and couldas and what ifs, 
he can turn it all around. Because you know what? When God's heart is set on you, he's going to establish a purpose. He's going to establish it no matter what it takes. He's God, and you and I are it. So I hope that my pondering has helped you out a little. Stop worrying about the should have, could have, would have, I wish, I could, I, you know. <sighs> there's many things that I wish I could undo. But then again, there's many accomplishments, many triumphs, many victories, many blessed times in my life. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations or in the midst of consequences in my life. Because from very young, I sometimes made wise choices, sometimes I didn't. And as we grow in the Lord, doesn't mean we have it all figured out. Okay? So I hope this encourages you to understand it's okay to feel human. And it's okay to turn to Him whose grace is sufficient for you. And allow Him to be the one to do the mighty work in you and transformation. So, God bless you. God keep you. And I hope my my thoughts help you out somewhat. Besos, hija. Till next time.